Okay, welcome back everybody. It's been a while. I've uh, been a bit busy, both uh, work and uh, setting up uh, for the uh, new Path of Exile release. Uh, some of you uh, followers have been uh, involved in the uh, Path of Exile. We do have a uh, guild composed of uh, my followers here as well as some friends. Uh, anybody that is interested in Path of Exile is a free-to-play game. Uh, Diablo, uh, uh, a la Diablo 2 uh, action RPG. Uh, feel free to look us up in game, give it a try. But today, for at least the next couple hours, we are going to continue uh, stand and save. Took a look around the world here. Those of you that have been with me for a while, Remember, we started as the uh, small nation of the Jayanagar, and uh, about 50 or 60 years in, somewhere along there, we to form Hindustan. And uh, we've taken the uh, Indian subcontinent and uh, North East Africa by storm. Also got some colonies uh, Madagascar throughout the Indian Ocean, Indonesia, Pacific, a very solid foothold in um, see. Uh, our current alliance. Spain and Marwar are also leading a personal union with both Zhu and John Poor. I believe we've uh, started the integration process possibly on John Poor. Maybe we're uh, in that phase where we have a couple more years to go. Uh, inheriting Zhu would uh, certainly push us into the uh, great nation uh, status. Uh, I think we're like number nine on the uh, on the list right now. We have westernized. Managed that uh, 1690 or so, maybe That's the exact year. It hasn't been that long. Our uh, tax of 18, 19, and 23. Are ahead of most of the uh, our neighboring nations. Uh, s only slightly behind the Ottomans, which is probably the biggest, the nearest major threat. Uh, Persia is a little bit of a threat, but uh, I believe we outtech them. And uh, each of the last wars we fought with them, we managed to fight them off. Emirates still slightly outtechs us, but. Again, they're not too big of a war. Let's see what we've got. What so we have here? We have uh, Conquest CBs on Norway, which I've been thinking uh, I might actually... Uh, let's kick uh, Norway out of uh, North America here, I'm thinking. Their only alliance last I checked was Denmark, which is... Not a very big worry. Well, Norway doesn't even have a foothold in Scandinavia anymore. It looks so they're limited to Iceland, Greenland, and a couple, couple territories in North America. So I'm thinking we might uh, make a move on them unless they've changed their alliances. Uh, free conquest on Great Britain. Yeah, Great Britain took one of our South African continents, uh, territories. I'm not too worried about that, that at this point. Um, Spain's an ally, so we're not going to be uh, doing anything there. Aztec and Congo. Aztec is another one that uh, we've positioned ourselves to um, make a move on. And Congo 
think because we've taken some of the Swahili land, we must have uh, Congo. I don't know why we have. Uh, Conquest on Congo. Uh, it's not something we're probably going to press given where they are. So that's where we are. That's where we're going to start. I have been up all night. I think I. I might have gotten 30 minutes of sleep when I went to bed, so how long this is going to go. Uh, I'm hoping to get a couple hours in, maybe another uh, 20 to 30 years game time, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, if we don't finish it today, we'll, we will uh, continue probably uh, Wednesday. Okay. Major shipbuilding uh, order in. Uh, we just upgraded tech to ship type. Now building a bunch of war galleons, uh, which if we tangle with England, we will need the upgraded ship types. Uh, colonize. Australia. Be ends over here. Swahili. Some core constructions. Diplomats. Constructions with Kathmandu. In Kathmandu, we John Poor, I believe. is eighty percent complete, and we will John Poor uh, in over almost four years. Colony is almost complete in Australia. Well under our force limit at this point, so we may look at rebuilding that. Our sh again, our navy's being reconstituted with the uh, newest ships so those are progress and we will well been um, getting some troops over here in place. I'm gonna go ahead check their alliances. They're allied with Denmark again. Not worry. So we are going to go ahead and grab show. Tech colony. Just a colony or is it a territory? Province. It's full province, okay. Prestige. 5AE, 
colonization. That way we can take two. Actually take two there. Uh, all willing allies. It's gonna join. So I'll let them go. Tell me what just got annexed by. So he's trying to reclaim territory it lost. I don't think we can go to war with Delhi right at the moment. Oh no, we don't have a truce with them, so we could. Current truces are with Mewara Da. Nope, the Holy Roman Empire is formed in 1721. Yes, has managed to, uh, Sweden down here and still fairly fragmented, but it's still uh, gonna give France a uh, pause. France is in France, France, Scandinavia. France and the Holy Roman Empire are already locking horns. Yeah, Aragon has been uh, uh, big most of the game, actually. Uh, they they uh, managed to knock Castile out early. I mean, Spain's still got a significant overseas presence, but Castile, Spain, has been just a few provinces here in Iberian Peninsula for quite some time. And, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, I only started about 10-15 minutes ago. So you haven't missed uh, much. Uh, uh, obviously we're pretty late in the game. Uh, this has been a long-term save that I've been broadcasting. Uh, it's just been off the air for a couple weeks while I've gotten some other things taken care of. If you weren't here at the beginning, I started uh, as a small nation of Vijayanagar. Um, back at the uh, the original start year, unmodded game, um, we managed to form Hindustan and fought off a bunch of uh, attempts uh, w uh, with Delhi and Persia to and some of the other uh, nations that were in the area at the time uh, to try to um, take back some territory, but we've solidified ourselves really nicely. 
see we're currently 10th. We're just outside the, the uh, so-called great power status, and that's my goal for this game is to get inside that top eight. Uh, we have westernized. That happened a uh, uh, session before last, some 30 or so odd years ago. Now we're just uh, trying to, uh, like I said, solidify our power. We are leading personal union. We've almost completed the integration of John Poor. We're also leading a personal union with Zoo. We're hoping to maybe inherit them, and I think if we do that, that will push us up into the um, that great power status. I just finished a uh, naval tech, so we went on a crash ship building uh, spree here, hoping. Uh, we don't have to fight England again, but if we do, uh, we want to have a navy. Uh, do it. Really? Deal with them. We are working on uh, consolidating our consolidating our North American um, colonization. Uh, this wasn't conquest, this was all colonization. Uh, but we are uh, starting to uh, uh, kick Norway out. Yeah, well, North Texas is about to go away too. Norway doesn't have uh, much. They're, they don't have anything in Scandinavia anymore. France is up there, Sweden's up there. So all they have is a, a couple islands, plus Iceland and uh, Greenland. Uh, well, hell, even... Uh, well, they're fighting a couple bit wars. I didn't realize that. So Norway's about to become non-existent. Over here in the Indian subcontinent, in the meanwhile... Uh, let's see, I think we're gonna finish off uh, Delhi as well. They or we lock horns with Persia. Um, no, we do not have a truce with the uh, Aztecs. They are also on our, our hit list. I don't have a lot of troops over there right now, so once I finish off uh, uh, Norway, I'm going to turn my attention to the Aztecs. Combat ability, I imagine England probably has, uh, well, they may not have quality. Let's see what England has for... Uh, no, they do not have quality ideas. Uh, they do have uh, the heavy ship combat ability, so we just balance that out with... Uh, that's one of their, uh, I'm sorry, that's one of their... Uh, National ideas, the 10% heavy ship combat ability. So we just balance that out. Our own quality ideas. We have naval ideas as well. Yeah. Of course, there are you know, several techs ahead of us, so fighting them at any point is a risky proposition. You can see our ships are done. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of these together here. Oh, 
don't imagine they have any troops. No, they have a little bit of troops. Probably all Danish. <laughs> short time we'll have the rest of Russia discovered and then all we have is a little bit of interior of Africa and that's it I'm sure this is wasteland here maybe maybe not a little bit there maybe let's get the rest of these ships together here Ships too. Ports. Russia entered a military coalition against us. Okay. Got a coalition of one still. of one. Go for it, Persia. Let's see what you can do. Okay, that gives us a, a bit of a navy there. See what that does to my uh, force limits. Some ships. Uh, am I getting close to another? Another merchant. Current crop of. Uh, idea so my next uh, tech level is still four away Bush administration administrative tech up a bit of course that's the one that's lagging anyway so uh, partially because yeah look like my air is terrible A general signed anywhere. Set. We'll send him against the Aztecs. Should be safe enough there, right? Again, triple W. is 90% complete. I think Nepal is... They 
don't have a truce with me any longer. Either. Sounds like a waiting to happen. Wait a second, didn't I just improve my relations with them? I think I was trying to... Those that haven't been with me for the entire time uh, when we started this, uh, Synaptic Static, who's in channel right now, but probably AFK, and two of my other followers had been playing the part of my administrative, diplomatic, and military advisors. Um, so it was on their advice that I've taken some of the actions that I have and has gotten us where we are, I think, in our last session we were actually looking at another potential vassalization, but I can't tell see that we can do that. So I guess we're going to go ahead and take more territory before he'll peace out. So we'll finish the integration, then we'll work on all and work on Delhi. I said with any luck we'll integrate uh, uh, we'll inherit Zoo. Still have Tengal here as well as a potential eastern expansion. So we still have lots of directions to go. Uh, we haven't uh, necessarily finished up get up to about 800 or so we'll plant another colony. Port them so oh wait, let's port you here till you can uh, get rid of that attrition. Might have a port on the uh in the Gulf of Mexico once it's done. Well, the Shawnee and the Huron boy are still present. Now let's see. Ah. Still new world. Somebody Westernize in the last, uh, pretty sure it wasn't Swahili. Still sub Saharan. I don't know who it was. Somebody I remember had westernized.
One of my other followers, uh, Paradox Player, uh, mentioned that the MIE IOU and Taxes mod has been uh, released, so I downloaded that uh, the other day after this save has been completed. Uh, my next uh, long-term save is probably going to be using that mod. Go deeper in the interior. Yeah, tons of buildings. Let's see. Manpower at 83 of 96. Shut up. Oh, that use yeah, that's fine. I didn't need the military power. Getting about the uh, usage of uh, the power for those. I have to remember. A bit more of the interior. We've all got the entire map uncovered now. Russia, Africa. Be long. How's that? Uh, our integration will be done. Less than a year. Colony is almost complete. Two colonies that we have uncored right now. Construction 75%. Okay, so we're working on it. Got our CB against Nepal. I think as soon as we finish the uh, let's see, the little guy. I have access through Timurids. No, they're at the war. Oh, they're at war with the Timurids. Yeah. 
zero, so we're okay there. Get some troops in place. Shay, see, should I miss it? To uh, close, not quite. Fleet doing here. Doug. Need fleet basing rights in order to actually get them repaired. We will temporarily get fleet basing rights from uh, Spain. Can't. have a port on the coast here soon, so let's move them to the position. They don't need a, uh, a Caribbean uh, fleet. All this refinery of wine and sugar. I don't think I have any of One ship in the province. So the refineries aren't that big a deal. But the, uh. Yeah, I want to push. Diplomatic ideas in the naval tree. My manpower max to a hundred thousand or so. Okay. Another the heretics converted. Be two months to convert these. I really need something to boost my boost by missionary chance. <laughs> That's been a problem all game. Quartermaster. Oops. Okay. Operation is complete. Okay.
our way. Cod show. I see one of the two that I was after. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for both of them. Chew. That piece. Especially since this, uh, shortly. Two colonies almost done. Yeah, going at it again. Now, this is the first save that Japan never really had a presence on the mainland. They had a, a presence for a very short time in the early game, uh, but they've never managed to get back on the mainland. Both of my first two long-term saves, Japan had a significant presence on the mainland. Got uh, uh, our eastern border up as hot, no, far north as we can. We're going to work our way west and push off Nepal. We do have three armies stacked together. who broke their personal union with us. Yeah. That's why. Ugh. Why can't I get anybody with administrative power here? 6-1. Be in a uh, regency council. Take Tangu. I'll do deal with. Last time we fought Nepal and Nogai, we actually managed to go up there and, and occupy some of the Nogai territory. I'm not worried about Nogai. I forgot about that. Well, it is time. What's of expansion at right now? King here.
done very shortly. Both of those colonies will be done very shortly. Paul will fall fairly shortly. Pacific. Conquer that last territory and try uh, Australia. Somehow I, I screwed up and I let uh, uh, France and Portugal land there in uh, Australia while I wasn't paying attention. Completes or cancels our overextension, at least until we take some more territories here from Norway and Nepal. Knocked uh, Norway down a peg or two. Expensive decor. Okay, so Aztecs will be our next. Uh, Look down that way. No guy didn't even join the war. Shame. Rain has started the westernization process.
been what? They've been uh, Thorn and Delhi's side, and uh, Persia's for that matter. Both Delhi and Persia has occupied Mewat several times. Mewat's came back every time. Japan and Korea pieced out again. Channel winning. Tribes are fighting each other now. Um, mind you, I'm going to have some overextension to clear up, but I want to start at least uh, uh, eastern border capability. We're going to have to tangle with Persia here soon, too. The last couple times we did we came out the best, so I'm not too worried about it. They're in a coalition against us. They are the only part, only members of the coalition against us, as far as I know. Allied with Memlux and a in the coalition, so I'm not worried about that. What's this tech? Uh, administrative. wanted an admiralty too. available on this screen. I don't know why they're not showing. Oops. Not showing as available here. Now it's showing. The... don't know why it wasn't showing. Okay. That's fine. Uh, that's my is my income so low? Spending.
My eastern neighbors fighting each other again. Incomplete. All has been occupied. Send over extension. Fifty power. I. Forty-one aggressive relay. Take it for now. Okay, so our eastern border is solidified. And people are starting not to like me. <laughs> Somebody else joined the uh, coalition against me. That's fine. I'm going to let my... Uh, Aggressive expansion died down a little bit while I Our manpower max is up to 107,000. Get my income control here. Go away, England. That's why my stability... Oh, that's right. I had a monarch death. How about that? That dropped my stability. Drop my income. Just my stability up at least by one. As soon as I have the power. Oh, that's the uh, island that we share, isn't it? France, you can't have Aztecs. Can't afford to uh, take any more Aztec territory right now, so...
well. Oh, they're not allowing you to land? Not. I lose my alliance with Spain. I don't hear why they won't. Gonna lose that fleet. Okay, so I'm gonna have to build uh, another small. those there. Goes there and then send him. <laughs> India's taking over uh, quite a bit. Now we've got Australia, chunk of Indonesia, Africa. North America. We don't have anything in South America yet. We don't have anything in Europe yet. One of the achievements is going to require me getting something in Europe. It's in those ships, that fleet's going to disappear. Deport. Revolt a little bit. Special decision, what do we have? No, we're not bother with that one. Good. I still have a... Okay, that's a great one for my trade fleet for now. It's one of my trade fleets. I'll take that one of these admirals. Uh, well, neither of them are great combat. Take uh, Khan Musharif into my main combat fleet if and when uh, combat becomes.
look our tangling again. Military alliance. Got the royal marriage of the alliance, so we just need the relationships. Uh, aggressive expansion counts for 50 of it. 30 more from 80. That still leaves me 20 shy. A gift will fix that, I think. Although we're losing there, we're losing. and we may have to do a couple gifts. Let's go ahead and work on uh, improving relations. Max that out again. We're going to uh, vassalize them. Regency councils coming up. with Iroquois formation. Huron is gone. Persia, Marwar, Iraq, and Mamluks. Yeah. Mamluks who don't. Uh, yep, they do have naval. So we will help our allies who we are who we are eventually going to vassalize anyway. That should help improve our relations with them too. Yep, that bumped it up to 133. So between the aggressive expansion disappearing and the uh, uh, improved relations working, we'll be able to uh, vassalize them hopefully. I'm not going to try to take any territory here. I will do what I can to uh, destroy what little army they have. My god, they only have 40,000 troops between them.
crush their entire army in one go. See how quickly this we can end this war here. Everybody's declaring we're on Aztec. I want my piece of Aztec. Aggressive expansion. Not fighting the Norse Patriots. ships done yet. Can I send some ships back over? Might as well. Everybody else wants a piece of the Aztecs, I'll grab a piece too. Holy Roman Empire annexed Poland. You? Oh, that's another thing I forgot to check. Let's see if they still have, uh... Oh, that gave them a chunk of territory, didn't it? Still... They are, my god. France is still leading a personal union with Russia. If France ever inherits Russia... Oh my, <laughs> is all I can say.
two wars here. Neither of which is a big worry. What's Portugal doing up there? Are you? Portugal, where are you going? War with anybody? What the heck are you doing with troops up there? Didn't last long. Oh, wait. Old provinces. Yeah. Two of them anyway. ourselves a little bit more territory. A couple gold provinces. There they uh, were later there. Well, I can't. Uh...
Yeah, a little synaptic. It's about an hour or so of uh, gameplay here. And we've completed the uh, annexation of Jaunpur. We've conquered Nepal, solidified our, our eastern border here. You remember we had that personal union with the zoo. Well, unfortunately, uh, our monarch died and the zoo broke their union with us, so we don't have that any longer. Uh, we've taken some more uh, islands in the uh, western Pacific. Some more of the interior of Africa is being colonized. Some more of Australia. Uh, we've just uh, we took a couple territories from Norway here in North America. Just finished taking a couple territories from the Aztecs in North America. Uh, the Aztecs are gone. So now for these last uh, 80 years or so, it's just a matter of seeing how much we can uh, expand. Got our fleet bulked up with some of the latest uh, ships, at least the heavy ships. We're fighting a uh, an alliance for one of our uh, Marwar went to war. Marwar and Persia and Iraq and Mamluks, I think, all joined in. It's like they've all turned tail and ran. Holy Roman Empire formed in 1721. They just gobbled up Poland as well. They've just got a uh, bit of growth to them there. completed. Should be ending this war soon, I think. Like uh, Alaska. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Calling us. Yeah, it's out of supply reach. Kidding me. All 
or did I send it and missed it? Or have two colonists available. Colonists will arrive in 500 days. Okay, I just don't see it over here in the. Uh, Turned off? No. Not showing. Anyway, he's en route. Beat up on some more Persians. Snuck an army up on me. Consolidate our army a little bit. Really? Rebels beat me? I thought you might do that. A lot of trade disputes going on now. Okay, we finally managed to pin that army down a little bit. Get uh, the support army in there in time. Didn't 
need the support army. It's the second army though. No, that's the one that just went fleeing. Re outfit the uh, outfit the army with some troops. Guy down. We're not going to. Constitute that army. Rebel army, really? Back there and get rid of those rebels. Venice wants military access. Really? Sure, why not? Do some Venetian... How's your uh, Path of Exile stuff going, Synaptic? France and Tangu. Ellie and Milot. Ching. more of those before we push another um, attack. It should be like uh, Facing out here. I don't want to break the war early. I want the uh, bonus for uh, going to the end of the war with them. I'm not after any territory or anything, so. I just want them to end this war.
not after. The people over there. Let's build slightly troops up over here. Two, so we'll go. Rebel. Be gone. Big stat go. Oh, shoot. I snuck that stack in there again and I missed it. Okay. Fifteen, they will beat them. Okay.